Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this is uh, Elliot Analysis, a market forecast, a part two. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we were looking at uh, Cerna, Epic, uh, Charlie, Eco, Romeo, November. Okay. So if you have not watched uh, Elliot Analysis, the market forecast part one, you may do so before watching this to understand exactly what we are talking about, okay? So we were here, we were talking about how we can forecast the top of the market, okay, where we, how we can forecast uh, the top of the, uh, the fifth wave, okay? What I'm going to do now, ladies and gentlemen, just to bring on uh, my uh, drawing, uh, okay, tools, okay? I want to remove this line. So... Okay, let's put this back here. All right. So now we want to know where. Okay, so we count first wave, second wave, third wave, and the fourth wave, and the price start turning here. Okay. All right. So you want to know where the fifth wave will end. Okay, this is the purpose to detect okay the top of the market. So you can one, two, three, four, five waves. You look on your left hand side, you see that there was a okay five wave ABC one cycle here, and then you count one, two, three, four. Okay, you are right here. You want to know the top of the market. Okay, so how do you do that? Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, so to know, okay, ladies and gentlemen, the top of uh. The, 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 the fifth wave, one will join again, right here, the top, right here, the top of the first wave, and the top of the third wave. I prefer this, like this, okay? This time, we color it into red. Okay, let's use green this time, okay? Green is nice. That's it. This is the green line that will detect, okay, the fifth wave. We will expect just this line. That's what I will tell traders. There are many other ways, which I explain to traders at Wave Genius at www.24aliawave.com. There are other ways that traders will use. So if you use one particular method to detect the fifth wave, do not think that that's the only way traders can detect the fifth wave. Some traders will use the Fibonacci extension, some traders will use, okay, channel projection. Traders will just use the previous resistance level because as the price is going up, the price is looking for a better resistance level. I think the resistance and support level, okay, are the key to successful, excellent decisions, okay? Making excellent decisions, okay? So right here, the, the green line is, okay, the line so some traders will project the third in your wave they will, so you see the length of the third wave a third wave here they will move it like this and place it here okay make it parallel to the third wave you see the third wave here we move that line and make it parallel okay to the third wave this is the third wave we are making this line okay parallel until it crosses okay the green line but i do not do that i know some trader will do that i don't do that all i do the top of the first wave and the top of uh, the third wave as the price start moving out from this point if you receive if do not forget sometimes trader forget the if if you receive a valid signal here to buy and the price start going up your first target zone is when the price hits this green line, which you see here, this is what has happened. Traders took profit here. These are conservative traders. These are traders who know how to trade. They know that they can make money in the market, but they don't want to have a losing day. Losing trades do happen, but they don't want to have a losing day or a losing week or a losing month. So as the prior rolling in from the fourth wave here, they want to take their profit. They will bank it. Because they don't want to take money from their own saving account or their own bank account into their trading account, they want to add their profit to their trading account instead of taking money from their okay hard work bank account into their trading account. So they will bank it here. This is how we will detect okay the end of the fifth wave, the top of the first wave, 
and the top of the third way we will project it here. Some trader will use this as a science. Why I'm saying this? Because it's how the mind of traders function. I know that. I know that. Because I've talked to many traders. Myself, I'm a type of trader. I have a trading style. I do not try to impose my trading style on other traders. I let them carry on with their own trading style. All I'm doing is to guide traders, tell them this type of mistake don't make it. Okay? That's what I'm doing here. So sometimes we will see that there will be extension of the fifth wave. Alright? There are various reasons why we will see the, uh, the an extension of the fifth wave. According to the wave principle, either the first wave, the third wave, or the, the fifth wave will be extended when the first wave and the third wave are not extended there is a high chance remember not a certainty not guarantee there is a high chance that the fifth wave may be extended this is according to the book i have another reason that i will tell traders here the price is always moving from one support level to a resistance level Either that resistance level is visible or invisible or hidden. All I'm saying to traders, as you are in a fifth wave and the price going down, the common trading mistake is to make a decision on one single time frame. So you are on a monthly chart counting your wave. You are very excited about it. You are confident. In fact, the word confident does not exist in trading. Guarantee. Those kind of words does not exist in trading. We talk about probability. So, as you are counting your fifth wave, all right, you want to know what is happening on the bigger time frame. Myself, I'm lucky using TC2000. I can look on the yearly chart. All right, the yearly chart. You can do a lot of things. Either you use Fibonacci extensions to detect some hidden here. You can't see any resistance on your left hand side. Use Fibonacci extension zones to detect some hidden resistance level. The projection. Okay? Alright? So, do not stop on one time frame when you count your wave. We will see sometimes even experienced traders make this mistake every day. So, as the price rolling up on this time frame, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we see. We know also that a, a wave, five wave on one time frame can be a single wave on another time frame. Or a corrective wave on a minor degree a complex corrective wave on a minor degree can be a single corrective wave on a higher degree. The higher time frame commands the lower time frame. You see, this is about using the wave principle with the market principle. Do not forget the trading triangle, market first, the sector, before the individual financial instrument. Because the purpose is to make excellent decisions. So after you count the wave, now, some traders think that when I'm talking like this, I'm making, I'm joking. I'm not joking because uh, some traders want to know. That's why I'm talking like this. So, now, so as the fifth wave is underway, we don't know whether the fifth wave will go. Sometimes you see, it's rolling up, and then you see a complex, okay, fourth wave. I will show you another example soon. That will go horizontal. So, some traders will say, why it didn't go up? If the signal has failed, come out, okay? Sometimes you see a complex fourth wave. All right, it take you out, take you out, take you out before price will go up. Remember that the price does not always move. Okay, so this is how we detect the top. After we count the, the five way, we do not just sell in the uptrend or we do not just buy in the at the end of the downtrend. We only count five ways. Go now to Google for now, go now to Yahoo for now, check the fundamental. What's going on? Sometimes the price will. <laughs> Trader will count five waves, and then the price will pull back like this, and then start one, two, three, four, five. Okay, which means the fifth wave may be extended. What I was saying to you was that sometimes the fifth wave will be extended when there is a, a better resistance on the top here, somewhere up. The small money will slowly but gradually allow the price to go to the best resistance level before the price will go down, and you will see a kind of uh, okay messy fifth wave. Sometimes it just the it, the fifth wave can be extended in some cases, which means a stock reach the fifth wave, but the market, the global market, the global cycle is still bullish. The sentiment is bullish. 
people are still adding to it, adding to it, as the fifth wave is extended. But technically speaking, the, 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 the fifth wave is finished. But because the sentiment is bullish, remember, the center of the market is human being. So as they are still bullish, they keep buying. Sometimes you see, we say to traders, this is the fifth wave. Look for opportunity to sell. Price continue to go up. And traders wonder, what's going on? The sentiment is still bullish. The next stock that we're going to look at is uh, PCLN. All right. So in the previous video, we show you that uh, from 2003. Okay. In fact, what I will do, I hope uh, YouTube will allow me to post the video longer than uh, 50 minutes. I will try my chance. If it doesn't work, I will cut the video at uh, this point, okay? Because uh, this is a new channel and uh, we are not allowed to post a longer video here, okay? We have to wait, all right? <laughs> so, bear with me. I'll put this that blue line there. That's the 2003. We know that there was a one cycle. You will see this on many stocks, even some Asian stocks. You will see exactly the same pattern if you are alien wave trader. You want to know where you are and what is taking place. Okay, another blue line. It's one cycle. From 2003 to 2009, there was one cycle up to the January 2009. Many stock, we show you that. Five waves from 2003 and ABC to 2009. You'll see that. And then a new cycle has begun. We know that. We know it. Okay? Many earlier wave partitions will tell you that. Okay? A wave on this monthly chart can be a single wave on another time. So one cycle here can be just a minor cycle here. Maybe a bigger cycle is underway. All right? Remember that. So, so we have now for this stock five waves. Okay? Five gorgeous waves. In this case, we see that there was uh, the third wave was the longest. In normal condition, the third wave should be the longest. And the fourth wave should not overlap the first wave. It shouldn't come down into the zone of the first wave. These are just the theory, uh, the wave principle. Okay? Now, right here, all right? And then the fifth wave right here. Again, in this case, if we apply the techniques that I explained to you, which means we join the top, right, look, of the first wave, okay? Yeah? The top of the first wave and the top of the third wave. This, our projection to detect the end of the fifth wave will be in this zone, okay? Uh, I will use again green in this case, you see, for this stock, Priceline.com Incorporation, PCLN, okay, Papa Charlie Lima November, that's the, the, the epic, so detecting the top of the market, using the top of the first wave and the top of the, the third wave, our projection bringing, you see how some traders, how the price was desperate to come near the green line, look at that. You don't want to be the last person out. You see how they drop it down? They want to bank their profit. In fact, the fifth wave is a very tricky uh, tricky wave, all right? A very, very tricky wave. Because as the price is going up, some traders start selling. The deep pocket market participants start selling. So, though the price is going up, some traders start selling. Because they can afford a higher stop loss or they use the option instruments, okay, to enter the market straight away. All right, so here they anticipate that the price will end here, but sometimes the price will break a ball. In this case, it didn't. It's come to the edge, all right? Top of the market, okay? You see now? It makes sense? And it's also powerful, all right? So that's what we see here for this. Now, let's play a bit, talking about play a bit, how, like I was showing before, how we detect, okay? Look at this one. How we detect... Uh, the top of the third wave, okay? If you watch the first part of the video, let's play with this. Okay, I'm removing this line. The way we detect the top of uh, the third wave, we join the low of the first wave and the low of the second wave, and we draw a line parallel from the top of the first wave, the first video. So we will have, you remember I was using a pink line, I will do exactly here, just to refresh your memory. So you may see that, George, what you have said before was completely nonsense. Is this not completely nonsense? You see? So, but one thing you have to understand, as I explained to you, the principle, the market principle, 
when a wave fails to exceed a preceding impulsive wave after a corrective wave, one should expect a turnaround. So this is an impulsive wave and this is a corrective wave. If our third earlier wave has stopped here, we will expect the price to come back down. It's a market principle. Because a wave failed to exceed a preceding impulsive wave after a correction, we will expect a turnaround. Alright? But the next thing that we know is that the first, the third wave, which is supposed to be the, the longest wave, should at least, let us say, at least exceed the length of the first wave. This is the length of the first wave which I, I'm putting here. Yeah, the length of the first wave. I messed up my uh, drawing here. Moment, please. It will come back soon. Have few things running on my computer. I'm waiting for my computer now, ladies and gentlemen. So, what I'm saying to you, we want to use the wave principle together with, uh, okay, the market principle. We don't want to use, uh, okay, the wave principle in the void, okay? So, we want the, the third wave to achieve at least this length, okay? So all I'm doing, I'm moving that length a bit up like this. So we will expect it to go above the pink line, which it did. You see, it exceed the length of the first wave. You see, the third wave was longer. Sometimes it may not. If you have some crazy news, if the fundamental are not sound, if the global economy is, uh, I mean, Volatile, the, this third wave can be a complex uh, third wave, which means you see, pull it back down and then go up. A third wave can be form of five subwaves. So don't take it that it's going to go straight, and you're always going straight. All right, but we'll come back to that in another video. Okay, so you see now, so here it goes above it. How do we handle this? Traders who go to www.stochasticmarty.com will know what I'm going to do now. The projection of the channel. So when you see it like this, you'll know that you need to project the same size of this pink channel to the upper side. All I do, I just project it three times. Those who have watched our video on wave, okay, talking about the page that we posted on our earlier web, website, we'll project it three times, you see. Just, just put it there. This is the projection of we expect it to end here. We know that the third wave should be longer than the first wave in normal condition, or at least be the same length of the first wave. All right, the third wave shouldn't be the shortest wave. That's the theory, and we want it at least to achieve the length of the first wave. So as we see this here, our projection for the third wave here, we know that we have to project that channel equal size without lying to ourselves. Don't cut corners. We project it here. So as the price reaches this level, we will say, uh, maybe it may come down. In fact, I will take profit here. As it roll it up, I will project it again. If it goes above, I project it again, which brings me here. But one thing I always say to traders when we are talking about channels, do you remember that? The media line. Do not forget the media line. In this case, the price stop on the media line of the third channel. That's where the the third wave has ended. Some trader may say to me, John, why don't you use Fibonacci projection? You can use Fibonacci projection, but it's not reliable because traders are using the Fibonacci projection, extension, and retracement like a, a magic wand. You want to use the price itself, the number one indicator, to make excellent decisions. And I believe the, the channel projection will do a better job of looking on your left-hand side, which means as the price is rolling up, you know that the price looking for a better resistance level. So on your left hand side here, you start drawing lines. Where are the resistance level? You want to know where they are so you can know where the price is likely, okay, to end. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. You see the line drawing now, the, the blue lines? These are resistance on my left hand side. So as the price is approaching these resistance levels, I'm watching it carefully. Uh, but the price did stop on the media line of the third channel. Okay? You see now? I'm going to remove uh, some of my line very fast because I don't want the video to be too long. And uh, hoping that, uh, okay, uh, lovely YouTube will allow me to post this one. If we exceed our time, YouTube will not allow us, okay? But I will cut the video and um, come back. Uh, do something else, okay? 
So you see now, projection to the third, the end of uh, the third wave, we can see that this was a bit crazy. Continue to remove my line. This video is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. It is primarily for the TSTW traders. Now, let's move on. So we see it a very complicated projection of the, how we detect the top of the third wave. This was not easy, okay? It was not easy, but now you know it. Okay? Let's look at the fourth wave. How do we check the fourth wave? We say that we will join the top of the first wave and the top of the third wave. We draw the line like this, color it into red, okay? You remember now, okay? And we will make uh, a line from the low of uh, the second wave parallel to the red one here. So we just draw a line here, make it parallel, coolish. You love uh, your wave, I know. So you find this one useful. So now you see here, let's go on. All right, okay. You see now, so we make a line parallel. We don't want to cut connect, this is parallel, okay? But we will expect the fourth wave to come to this level. There are other rules when we are talking about either wave, okay? When the second wave is very quick, all right? The third, the, no, no. When the second wave is very quick, the fourth wave is, is likely to be longer. Talking about the time period. When the second wave is quick, the fourth wave is likely to be a longer, okay? When the, the second wave is, is uh, a simple wave, the fourth wave is likely to be a complex wave. This is the alteration of waves. I don't want to talk about this now, but with our projection, we will expect the fourth wave. See how it dip below it quickly here, this candle here. You will take profit here because this is your first target zone, all right? If you remain in the trade, move your stop loss to control the risk and, most importantly, to secure your gains. You can see that the price D below it. If the price D below your projection, remember, what do you do? The projection of the channel. I know that a lot of traders forget that. Myself, when I was a new trader, I was forgetting this projection all the time. And when I was reviewing my uh, trade, I looked at why I forgot to, to project it. Why I didn't see it. So, as it D below your projection, Secure your gains or take profit. Nothing should stop you to take your profit. I like to take profit. Take profit, all right? Sometimes you see the power will give you another chance. You see, a D below it, and then give another green here. Another one pop above it to retest uh, here, and then it gave again a sell signal. You project this red channel to the downside because the price D below your target zone. What we don't want to forget, ladies and gentlemen, the media line. I hope you, you need to watch this video many times uh, to grasp everything here. You can take it all in one day, if you are, especially if you are a new trader. So the media line of my new channel is this one here, which means the line dividing my channel in two equal small channels, okay? That will do for today. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this video about uh, area wave analysis uh, and market forecast part two. Now you will put into use, okay, to make excellent uh, trading decision. Speak to you soon. We are the TSTWSYS008 uh, uh, traders.